Hey, you got Fox here. Today I have a review of 99 overall Night Train Lane. Now, I picked this guy up the day he went out. He's dropped quite a bit in price, and I apologize for the late review. I haven't got, I didn't get it out as snappy as I'd like. He's going for 865k right now, so quite pricey, but he does kind of, I think he's definitely worth it. We'll get to the final rate at the end. He's got Tip Trill. Let me know what you guys thought on Tip Trill is. Uh, Master Gamer says it's amazing if you got it for your whole secondary. Uh, I only, I don't know if I, I don't think I have it from a whole secondary, but maybe we'll put it together a squad. Let's talk about stats right now, though. 95 speed, you can chem that up to 96. 96 acceleration on that again. 97, you can chem it up to. Let, we'll just go to chem top. 94 jumping, 96 play rec, 85 catching, 97 hit power. The block shot at 80, pursuit at 89, tackling at 86. So this is definitely a guy you want to hit the power tackle with. The X on Xbox. The what is it? Square on PS4. Don't hit. Don't hit the X on uh, PS4. That's just a conservative tackle. We don't want that. We want that hard tackle. Get that ball out of the hands. They tried to swerve. Um, luckily, the we got the two man on one man action and uh, whatever. Here, here's Nitro Lane. Boom! I love this guy for a cover two. Probably one of the best cover twos. He's gonna get a golden ticket here. Probably be the second best cover two corner or right up there. I mean, Blunt's right with it for cover two corner for the rest of the season. This is an end game co uh, cornerback. I mean, I feel like you guys would know that. If he's 99 overall, he should be end game. But, oh, there was something I feel like we should have gotten an animation there on a big hit. Uh, so, he's not perfect getting big hit animations, but he's pretty darn swell if we're going to talk in the old school lingo, you know, like our uh, grand folks did. Or for you, some of you younger ones, the great grand folks. I'm off night train lane. I got to get back on track. Maybe because uh, I'm just in a retro mode. There he is blitzing the quarterback, um, trying to get some night train neckties going, um, take some heads off. Anyways, the night, the man coverage. So, not great. <laughs> uh, man coverage just gets beat. Like, slants, drags. Eh, not great. Not great. Not great at all. There was his pressure. I know Kiko got that uh, pick, but his pressure forced that pass a little bit early allowing Kiko to get in front of that uh, ball. He was blitzing off the edge. So, off the edge, another great one. I don't know if he's the best, like, off the edge. I think he's better. Like, I love the cover, two this year. Um, it's my favorite defense uh, with adjustments, of course. You can play him. What's great about this card, though, you can play him in any type of scheme. You can put him at three. You can put him at two. You can put him at one. Um, anywhere in your scheme, and Night Train Lane will be a part of it. So, there is shedding the block and, and filling for the cover, two. And I, I like it because the cover, two had the outside contains on it, too. And there isn't really a receiver that's going to do well blocking Night Train Lane. Let's like put out like a tight end out there. But AD block shed, um, he's going to get off pretty quickly. You know, it's not always perfect. He will get blocked. You know, the bigger guys like the Evanses will hold him up and uh, potentially not be able to let him get his, uh, what, do you, what do you want, uh, shed off, his RNG in time to make that uh, stop on the run. So, yeah, always try and line up the big hit with him. Um, he, he will consider a tackle if you don't uh, watch it. Watch it, yo. Um, but, like I said, there's things to be desired in coverage, I guess. I mean, his man's 95, zone 96. But you'll see plenty of balls completed around him. Um, he's not going to be, like, glitchy for that kind of stuff. Like, there's – it's just the way Madden is. Like, the DBs don't react the greatest on a lot of these passes. But they will react some ways like that. Like, do you see man separate from ball? Um, so, beautiful night train. Anyways – Onto more of this more of this card. I, I don't know if I have enough words to properly put how good he is. Like, if you're going to throw man coverage against him, yeah, he's going to get beat. There's nothing really you can do there. Um, you just got to kind of hope to use those things over the middle of man coverage. Do you see him come flying? There's his pursuit in action. Did you see him come flying from the other side of the field to make the tackle? He was lined up on, like, the, the what, left hash marks, and he came flying and made the tackle. Or not the left hash mark, but, like, the left numbers. He made the tackle by the right, right hash marks. So, pursuit, good. Check. Great great against the run. Uh, good against the pass. I mean, he's not like ultimate master Deion Sanders against the pass. A pass. His golden ticket might be. But not this card. But for 865, I, I definitely think you need it. I don't think he's as valuable in, say, like a cover four deep system as he is in like a cover two where he's much closer to the ball. Um, there, I thought I made a huge mistake. Like I was uh, Job or something. But nope. Nitro Lane came back to the ball, hit it out of the hands, and that uh, did well. So, I recommend this card. I can't recommend it higher. Acceleration, 97. I don't know if I talked about that. Probably not. Jumping, 94. You see him just skying to knock those balls down. Love this card. But his price is too high. So, I'm going to give him, without price, 9.7. With price, you got to knock that down. 9.1. Thanks for watching. Call to action. I'll see you tomorrow.